is highly problematic question for especially neat students but i have got a shortcut for this you can just see the problem here and you can just see the lengthy methods given in the books and this is a diagram actually there are two lenses equiconvex lenses in between there is a liquid and refractive index of a liquid is mu l okay it is mu l and is asking us to find out the net focal length the formula for net focal length is f net is equal to r by 4 minus 2 mu this is a shortcut formula directly you will get a single step formula method you can you do not write all these things so f net is equal to r what is the value of r here if you observe r is given as 20 20 by 4 minus 2 into what is the liquid 4 by 3 okay so if you solve this one uh, this 3 comes to numerator becomes 3 to the 660 minus is going to be 8 12 minus 8 so 60 by 12 minus 8 is going to be 4 okay so it's going to be how much 15 centimeters so directly we got the final solution hope you have enjoyed my dear students this is a previous year question in which there is a thin prism and this thin prism is silvered along the side AC it has been silvered along the side AC and a light ray enters from this side along AB and it falls on the side AC perpendicularly in such a way that it goes and after striking it retraces back it retraces back along the same path what is the meaning of that the meaning of that is it just strikes the side ac perpendicularly i told that whenever a light ray either it passes perpendicularly if there is no silvering or if it is silvering it retraces back in all such cases i told you that geometry says that this angle of a prism and refractive index uh, this angle of refraction they will be always same that means this r and that a is going to be same that's it it's a simple solution here now you have to write now mu is equal to sin i and this is sin r okay so sin i is nothing but sin 2a sin r is nothing but sin a this implies that mu is equal to sin 2a is nothing but 2 sin a cos a divided by sin a so getting cancelled then what is your answer he is asking us to find out the refractive index the answer is 2 cos a that's it dear yes, students this is the question asked in previous year neat here two double convex two equiconvex lenses are joined together their focal length is same surprisingly in the second case we are adding one more liquid in between these two lenses and that liquid is taken as glycerin and this liquid is also having same refractive index that means refractive index of these two lenses are 1.5 that is equal to 3 by 2 and even the refractive index of the liquid is also 3 by 2 in between that means this complete structure is behaving like one lens this complete structure is behaving like one lens surprisingly the shortcut formula is whenever same type of lenses are joined together in the first case focal length will become half you have to remember this whenever equal convex lenses are clubbed together joined together their focal length will become half and in this case if you observe in this case if you observe what is happening you know these are the two lenses in between there is one more lens which is having glycerin see the focal length of the first lens is taken as f the focal length of the middle lens is taken as minus f and the focal length of the last lens is taken as f again these are convex lenses their focal length is positive this is a concave lens of same refractive index whose focal length is negative that means this lens and this lens focal length gets cancelled then at last only one lens is left whose focal length is f so in the second case you have to consider the focal length of the second combined lenses is taken as just f that's it no need to solve this problem here you can just write f1 by f2 is equal to f by 2 by f 
So getting cancelled 1 by 2 is going to be your answer. That's it. You need not do all these process. The simple method is whenever the convex lens are clubbed, focal length becomes half. Whenever glycerin is there in middle, whose focal length is same, whose refractive index is same, one is positive, one is negative, getting cancelled, only one lens is left. The answer is F. That's it. Divide them, find the ratio, you will get the ratio as 1 by 2. That's it. Simple. So simple it is. My dear students, you can just see this problem. This is a previous year problem asked in NEET. How can you solve this problem? You can just see this is a coin. A light ray enters outside the water and it is grazing through the surface. It is grazing through the surface. That means that if you draw a normal here, if you draw a normal here, that means this is going to be a critical angle. If you are drawing a normal here, this is going to be a critical angle. If this is a critical angle, this is also critical angle because when you draw these two parallels, alternate interior angles are going to be same. This is C means that is also C. You all know the formula for refractive index. Mu is equal to, if it is a case of a critical angle, you write mu is equal to 1 by sin C. And you also know that refractive index formula is velocity of light in air to that of velocity of light in water. That's it. Your formula is ready. You will get the answer in a super simple way. Now you will write 1 by sin C. This is going to be sin C. So sin C is nothing but opposite side by hypotenuse. This is 4. This is 3. This is 4 means this is 5. According to Pythagoras theorem, 3, 4, 5. Sin C is nothing but opposite side is 3. And this is 5. 5 means you can write this 5 in the numerator. And this is going to be be 1 by uh, c by v. Uh, what is c? You all know c is nothing but 3 into 10 power 8 divided by v. Okay, so he is asking us to find out v. It's very simple. You can find out v. Now take this 5 by 3 is equal to 3 into 10 power 8 by v. You can find out the value of v and you'll be getting the value of v as 1.8 into 10 power 8. That's it. So simple it is. No need to worry. My dear students, don't swipe. You may miss a wonderful physics short trick for NEET 2024. Just remember. See here. The problem says that light ray enters and it deviates. It is refraction. It is said that angle of incidence is double to that of angle of refraction. In such situations, he is asking us to find out what is mu, that's it, sorry, what is i, he is asking us to find out what is i, how can you find out that one, uh, Snell's law says that mu is equal to sin i, here sin i means sin 2r, by cos sin i by sin r, so this is sin r, that's it, here this uh, sin 2r means 2 sin r, cos r divided by sin r sin r sin r gets cancelled what is left now this is mu so you know that cos r is equal to mu by 2 cos r is equal to mu by 2 this implies that r is equal to cos inverse of mu by 2 but he is asking us to find out what is i and you know i is nothing but it is double to that of refraction therefore 2 into r this right 2 cos inverse of mu by 2 so simple it is hope you have enjoyed this my dear students this is a previous year question which was asked in need 2015 see the lengthy methods given in the textbooks do you want to bypass these lengthy methods and become faster in physics and conquer physics with high confidence and high creativity then there is a shortcut for a shortcut for this problem with me see you can just avoid these lengthy methods you can just see how much calculations it is there i think it is crossing one minute if you solve by using these methods there is a simple shortcut with me see this is a plano convex mirrors are present in between there is a liquid present and the refractive index of a liquid is 1.7 refractive index of the lenses are given as 1.5 then instead of doing all these calculations i have got a wonderful 
surprising diamond uh, shortcut with me and that is net focal length of this type of plano convex mirrors in which liquid is present in between it is there with me that is the shortcut present here now see instead of uh, uh, doing all this you can just write uh, minus r radius of curvature of this type of curved surface is taken as 20 divided by 4 minus 2 into mu of a liquid means you have to consider only the refractive index of a liquid not the refractive index of the lenses because they are always constant liquid may change here but lenses it is always constant which is nothing but 1.5 r3 by 2 so variable is only liquid so we have to consider the refractive index of the variable that is 2 into uh, 1.7 so your result is 20 divided by 4 minus 17 to the 3.4 so and minus sign you have to keep here so minus 20 divided by 0 0.4 gives you directly minus 50 centimeters which is possible with only one single step formula hope you have enjoyed in which chapter you need shortcuts you comment below and this is the basic method and this is a wonderful method to solve the problems hope you have enjoyed this method thank you very much have a nice day if you remember just one thing this problem is going to be very easy for you in which there are two convex lenses made up of glass whose refractive index is 3 by 2 and there is a liquid that is water in between that is a concave lens whose uh, refractive index is 4 by 3. Just remember only one thing, for a concave water lens, for a concave water lens, focal length is minus 3f by 2. If you remember this point, if you remember this point, the problem will become dead easy for you. And already it is given that focal length of these two lenses, that is f1 is equal to f3 is equal to f given. And for water lens, the gunshot formula is it is 3f by 2 that is enough for you to solve the problem then you know net focal length is going to be 1 by fn is equal to 1 by f plus uh, uh, second one is going to be negative lens so we can write this as 3f by 2 plus again 1 by f so therefore 1 by f net is equal to 3f as an lcm so 3 minus 2 plus 3 therefore 1 by f net is equal to here it's going to be how much uh, 6 minus 2 is going to be 4 by 3f, therefore f net is equal to 3f by 4. Your answer is this one. Students, whenever he has asked refractive index of a convex lens, he has given, what he has given? Radius of curvature he has given. And he is asking us to find out what is the refractive index. Power he has given, power is also given as 10 diopters. 10 diopters then generally books will explain by using lens makers formula and make the process very lengthy but as you are a repeater you have got a very less time in j mains and neat you can solve by using a simple comedy formula which is easy to remember it is refractive index is equal to rest in peace rp divided by 200 plus 1 this simple formula can help you to solve the problem in just a single stick. Okay, so what is that? Mu is equal to R into P. R is nothing but 10. P is nothing but 10 divided by 200 plus 1. So 0, 0 cancels to zeros. So half plus 1, which is equal to 3 by 2, your answer is ready. Hope you have enjoyed. Let me solve the problem in a shortcut method. Okay, so you are having a lot of problem with this solution. I know about that, so I have created a shortcut for you. Let me discuss about that shortcut in a super simple way. What is that shortcut? Let me discuss about that. Okay. The simple technique is, what I meant to say here is, you all know this is a prism ABC. A light ray enter into the prism making certain angle of incidence I, angle of refraction R, and it passes through the other side AC perpendicularly, perpendicularly. If such situation comes, geometry says that angle of refraction and angle of prism, these two will be same. Whenever this type of situation comes that the other side, the light ray 
passes emergent ray this is said to be emergent ray it passes perpendicular to side ac then the condition according to geometry is this angle of refraction and angle of prism they will be same if you remember this simple concept your 90% problem is solved the simple thing you have to do is apply snell's law what is this snell's law mu is equal to sin i by sin r but for small angles thin prisms sin r not present only sin sin is cancelled then what is left mu is equal to i by r and you know i is equal to mu into r but i said r is equal to a i is equal to mu into a that's it you need not worry it's a simple solution hope you have enjoyed thank you